Hello and welcome back to another episode of Coffee Diaries. I know it's been over two years since I filmed one and that's because there's been a new app on the scene TikTok which I've been getting to know. So your best insider went in and I've been getting all the scoop hence why I'm doing this video as to how to really make money on TikTok. If you're a content creator and you're not on TikTok I would suggest joining TikTok because TikTok is not what it used to be. In the past I know it was being seen as this goofy app where people just went in and did random challenges but that narrative is changing day by day and right now brands are requiring the you have TikTok at the moment. So if you're not on TikTok, hop on the platform. And no, it is not too late to join because from my research, I realized that a lot of people on TikTok have huge followings because TikTok is a place where you can easily go viral compared to other social media platforms like Instagram and um, Pinterest or YouTube if you will. While I was on the platform I realized that there's so many people who have huge following but they've not been able to monetize and the reason is because people on TikTok want to go viral. So in a bit to go viral they end up doing these random videos or trending videos or challenges that will propel them to be seen and get loads of followers but the accounts are not necessarily monetizable because they are not niching down and if you're a content creator that's coming from Instagram where you are used to creating content that focuses on a niche, then this is your opportunity to shine on TikTok because not many people are coming onto the platform with that mentality. So you're just hopping on and creating random content. Whereas you could hop on the platform and really niche it down. If you wanna talk about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, go for it. And you can still keep it fun in terms of like niching it down. You don't have to make it super glossy like Instagram. Just show up, show your personality, feel free to chat to the camera like I'm doing here. Like you can be doing a get ready with me. That works really well on the platform. But what you wanna do is make sure that you're really niching down like you would on Instagram. Because what's happening is that the advertisers and brands from Instagram are now moving over to TikTok because the reach is so much much better and when they put paid ad spend behind it they get a lot more for their buck compared to Instagram so what you want to do is hop on the platform at this very point in time and start niching down and if you found that you joined TikTok uh, whereby you're just creating content that's just about goofing around and having fun without any purpose I would say now is the time to start cleaning up your page and I'm saying this because I only have around 70,000 followers but I get a lot of TikTok campaigns I've worked with brands like Gucci, Armani Lancome, Joe Malone and at the moment I think I have around five TikTok paid campaigns that I need to shoot but the beauty of it as well is that I already have brands approaching me to create TikTok content that I don't need to post on my TikTok channel so they want me to create content for them to post on their own TikTok channels and if you're looking at growth on TikTok I would say you're much more likely to grow on TikTok so what you also want to do is to channel your followers from other social media platforms such as Instagram and YouTube tell them to go and follow you on TikTok and you can easily do this by say for example linking your TikTok social media channels you could um, put it in your Instagram bio that you are on TikTok and when brands approach you for Instagram content or content on social media you could tell them oh I'm also on TikTok and this is my fee for posting on TikTok as well so that's one way to leverage the contacts that you already have to get brand deals and sponsorships on TikTok. Also if a brand approaches you and they are not meeting your rate on Instagram you can easily you know segue that conversation and say 
I'm on TikTok. Your rate doesn't match my Instagram rate, but it fits perfectly with my TikTok rate. How about I do a TikTok for you? That is what I've been doing, and I would say nine out of 10 times the brands have gone on to agree, or they will just match my rate because they want to post on Instagram. But more and more brands are moving onto TikTok, and you want to be there and you want to be ready to cash in when they are putting out advertising dollars and paid spend towards content creators. Because right now on TikTok, a lot of people are creating content aimlessly. I've seen people with a million followers, two million followers, hundreds of thousands of followers, and they have no monetization strategy. And you don't get much from the TikTok Creator Fund. I am a part of that fund. I would say I've had videos have over half a million views. And so far on that platform, I think I've only made 18 pounds. That's not a lot. So you can't rely on that as revenue. And in terms of like TikTok shop, that doesn't work because you have all these brands that are not really trustworthy on the platform and you're recommending products for people to buy and the quality of the products aren't great, I would say as a content creator, stay away from it. Only if it's trusted brands that you know that are available in the UK, like my TikTok shop on my page, I only link to brands who I've known and I have shopped from such as Look Fantastic, The Perfume Shop, those are the brands that I would link to because I trust that they will deliver to um, anybody who's ordering via my TikTok shop. But the one sure way to make money is from brand deals on TikTok. And like I've said, you need to niche down show your personality, talk to camera, or just create a different style of content that is not the same as Instagram, but works really well on TikTok. Like what I tend to do is do unboxing videos. They tend to do very well. Those, that is not the sort of content I will necessarily create on Instagram, but it does really well on TikTok. So my page on TikTok niches down to the same thing that I do on all my other social media platforms, which is fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. So far, so good. Good, it's been working really well. So if you're not on TikTok, I would recommend joining TikTok today. And if you're already on TikTok and you found that you've not been doing well, my advice to you would be to niche down to a category so that when advertisers come, they know what you stand for and you're able to command more in terms of advertising dollars on TikTok. I hope you found this video useful and as always, if there's a topic you would like me to touch on, be sure to leave it in the comment box down below and I'll get to it in my next Coffee Diary series. Until then, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? I'll see you next time. Bye!